Forget every other rumor about the Galaxy S25 lineup. There's one feature that stands above the rest, and it's not just another display or camera upgrade. We're talking about a massive leap in power, efficiency, and AI capabilities, all thanks to Qualcomm's latest silicon, a Snapdragon 8 Elite. Today, let's dive deep into why this new chip could make the Galaxy S25 a true game changer. The Galaxy S25 series isn't expected until January 2025, but we're already getting some jaw-dropping leaks. Recently, we got a glimpse of the Galaxy S25 Ultra renders, courtesy of renowned leaker Ice Universe. And while Samsung's design and display upgrades are always exciting, the heart of the phone, its processor, is what's really going to make or break this device. Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Elite unveiled last month has officially been confirmed as the processor for the upcoming Galaxy lineup. This powerful chip promises to bring a level of speed and efficiency that could rival or even surpass Apple's 18 Pro chip in the iPhone 16 lineup and Google's Tensor G3 in the Pixel 9 series. Let's talk numbers because they're impressive. When benchmarked on Qualcomm's reference device, the Snapdragon 8 Elite achieved 40% better single-core performance and 42% better multi-core performance than the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 found in the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Imagine the Galaxy S25 Ultra powered by this chip, blazing through tasks with ease. In Geekbench tests, it even came close to matching the iPhone 16 Pro in single-core performance, a feat we haven't seen from any other Android device. For graphics, the Snapdragon 8 Elite set a new standard in 3 Mark's Wildlife Unlimited test, topping the charts and solidly beating the iPhone 16 series. To put it simply, the Galaxy S25 could be the fastest Android device on the market. But performance isn't everything. Let's talk about what this chip could mean for battery life. Qualcomm promises a 44% improvement in CPU power efficiency and a 40% increase in GPU efficiency over the previous generation. What does this mean for the Galaxy S25? It could lead to substantial improvements in battery life without increasing battery size. We already know the Galaxy S24 Ultra has an impressive battery, but with the Snapdragon 8 Elite's efficiency gains, the Galaxy S25 Ultra could last even longer on a single charge. Imagine streaming, gaming, and multitasking all day without worrying about your battery percentage. Another area where the Snapdragon 8 Elite shines is AI, the Neural Processing Unit, or NPU. On this chip has a 45% speed boost compared to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, meaning faster, smarter AI. Samsung has been heavily invested in its Galaxy AI tools, and this new chip will allow those features to work even better, with more real-time processing right on the device. Although Samsung hasn't revealed the specific AI features for the S25, this chip lays the groundwork for a potentially groundbreaking AI experience, whether it's in photography, predictive text, or personalizing your device experience. Speaking of photography, a Snapdragon 8 Elite brings a major upgrade to mobile imaging. Qualcomm's new image signal processor, ISP, works closely with the NPU to deliver live adjustments in white balance and color for more accurate, true-to-life in all the areas that matter most to users, speed, battery life, and camera quality. Samsung has yet to confirm exactly which Galaxy S25 models will receive the Snapdragon 8 Elite. Based on past trends, we could see regional variations, but if the leaks are accurate, every S25 model might benefit from this silicon upgrade. With such powerful hardware, Samsung has a golden opportunity to deliver an Android experience that's second to none. The Galaxy S25 lineup could very well set a new benchmark in the smartphone world. If you're as excited about the Galaxy S25 as we are, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for the latest updates, and drop a comment below. What do you think? Will the Snapdragon 8 Elite make this the most powerful Galaxy phone yet? Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Samsung has finally removed all doubts about a new Galaxy Z Fold model arriving this year. If the leaks hadn't convinced you yet, today's announcement confirms it. The Galaxy Z Fold Special Edition is real, and it's arriving soon. But now, the big question is, how does this Special Edition differ from the Galaxy Z Fold 6, which was released just a few months ago? One of the first differences between these two foldables is their availability. While the Galaxy Z Fold 6 is available in various markets around the world, the special edition might be harder to get. Samsung has only announced it in South Korea so far with plans for it to reach China next. If you're in the West or other regions where the Galaxy Z Fold 6 is sold, you may not see this special edition on store shelves anytime soon. Samsung describes the special edition as the thinnest and lightest Galaxy Fold ever made. Measuring just 10.6 millimeters when folded, it's slightly thinner than the Galaxy Z Fold 6, which comes in at 12.1 millimeters. Additionally, it weighs 236 grams compared to the Fold 6 239 grams. 
Not a huge difference, but notable for those who prioritize portability. When it comes to dimensions, the special edition is wider than the Fold 6, both when folded and unfolded. This difference gives it a broader display, making it more user-friendly for those who are used to regular smartphones. The unfolded dimensions of the special edition are 157.9, 142.6 x 4.9 millimeters, while the Fold 6 measures 153.5 x 132.6 x 5.6 millimeters. The wider design also leads to different aspect ratios. The Special Edition boasts a 2018 aspect ratio for its main display, while the Fold 6 uses a more traditional 4 to 3 ratio. This wider layout offers a slightly better experience for tasks like multitasking or viewing content. Samsung hasn't revealed much about any potential upgrades to the displays. However, we do know the Special Edition has an 8.0-inch main display and a 6.5-inch cover screen. In comparison, the Fold 6 has a 7.6-inch main display and a 6.3-inch cover screen. Both phones likely support 120Hz refresh rates, but Samsung hasn't confirmed this. In terms of durability, the Special Edition is made with Barilla Glass Victus 2 for extra protection and it features a distinctive stripe pattern on the back. Its frame is made from armor aluminum, ensuring it stays tough against everyday wear and tear. One surprising difference is the lack of S Pen support on the Galaxy Z Fold Special Edition. Samsung confirmed this on their South Korean store page. On the other hand, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 does support the S Pen, making it the better choice for fans of Samsung's iconic stylus even though it requires a separate purchase and doesn't have a built-in slot for storage. If the S Pen isn't a priority for you, the Special Edition might still be appealing, but it's worth considering this omission before making a decision. Both phones pack serious power under the hood. They share the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy chipset, which first appeared in the Galaxy S24 Ultra. This powerful chip ensures that both devices can handle demanding tasks with ease. However, the Special Edition stands out by offering 16 gigabytes of RAM as standard, whereas the Fold 6 comes with 12 gigabytes. This extra RAM helps the Special Edition manage tasks like Galaxy AI more efficiently. The Special Edition also ships with 512 gigabytes of internal storage, whereas the Fold 6 gives you options of 256 gigabytes, 512 gigabytes, or 1 TB. As for the battery, both models have a 4,400 mA unit although Samsung hasn't mentioned if charging speeds differ between them. One of the most notable upgrades on the Special Edition is the primary camera. The Special Edition is equipped with a 200 megapixel main camera compared to the 50 megapixel sensor on the Fold 6. This upgrade is significant and could be a game changer for those who prioritize photography on their foldable device. Other camera specs remain similar across both devices, including the telephoto lens and the four megapixel under panel camera. The Special Edition also has an advantage when it comes to connectivity as it supports Wi-Fi 7. This feature is only found on a few other Samsung devices like the Galaxy S24 Ultra, while the Fold 6 tops out at Wi-Fi 6E. Now, what about the price? The Special Edition will cost approximately $300 more than the Fold 6. In South Korea, the Special Edition will be priced at around 2 million. 789,601 or 2036 dollars while the 512 gigabytes fold 6 goes for 2,388,101 or 1743 dollars ultimately the galaxy z fold special edition brings some exciting upgrades like a larger display 16 gigabytes of ram and a 200 megapixel camera but if s pen support is important to you the galaxy z fold 6 might still be the better choice Either way, both of these foldables are top-tier devices, each with its own strengths.